I have decided on several different treatments of carbon dioxide to put the corals in. So you want to do a control in science always. And in this case, the control is to put corals into a tank with water of the current natural chemistry. And so currently, ocean pH on average is about pH of 8.1. And then I have um, two other tanks where I do a medium ocean acidification scenario, and then I do a high ocean acidification scenario. And these scenarios are based on emissions projections for the future, based on our, our policy and, and technical decisions, how much we decide to continue emitting as a society. And also it's important in science to think about the time scales on which you conduct your experiments. And so for me, I'm not only looking at the effects of short-term ocean acidification, which I define as on the scale of weeks to months, but what's the most relevant to ask is how do corals and other organisms respond to changes in the long term, which is what's more relevant, but it obviously takes more time to wait for the corals to respond and then to test those effects. So I'm, I'm carrying out the experiment until um, an entire year has passed to see how corals respond 